This final project is a creative activist piece in the medium of my choice, consisting of constructed quilt blocks in various colors, patterns, utilizing fusible transfers onto fabric that engages with a range of readings from across the queer of color art and activism in the city syllabus. This includes Angela Davis' Feminism and Abolition, Theories and Practices for the 21st Century, Adrian Rich's Notes Towards the Politics of Location, Women, Feminist Identity, and Society, Linda Smith's Decolonizing Methodologies, Research, and Indigenous Peoples. I'm a, I am a white woman over 60, heterosexual, married with three children. As a baby boomer, I relate generationally to the three activist scholars, Adrian Rich, Ad, um, I'm sorry, Adrian Rich, Angela Davis, and Linda Smith. To me, these scholars represent so much of the body of academic work that has been to support the evolution of our society shift towards inclusion of gender and race in a capitalistic and patriarchal culture structure. The themes from the syllabus that I chose to represent in this project include intersectionality and activist scholarship. These academics take an obviously political standpoint in their work. The politics is personal. They address big problems of society, for example, inequality, exclusion, decol decolonization, and the harms done by the colonists. Angela Davis speaks to the issues of the need to abolish the prison system which does more harm than good. Black women and women of color and women who identify as transgender. In the prison system are harmed by their gender. Uh, Angela Davis does work of the intersection of race, class and gender. She notes that many women based on their gender particularly trans women are the most arrested and car incarcerated they end up in male they end up in male prisons despite not going through despite not actually going through the the gender surgery so they are marked by the institution as targets of male violence police joke about their male fate in male prisons the prison is even encouraged the to to, to condemn them and taunt them while they're in prison. This racist, homophobic, and transphobic system of racism does incredible harm. And this is something that Angela Davis argues must be abolished. So she, is for, she, she argues for using feminism and abolishes, abo I'm sorry, abolition theories and practices for the 21st century. I do apologize. I've practiced this video four times and I'm still stumbling on my words. Um, the point is that we learn that we learn about that we learn about the prison system. And we understand the situations of trans women. So if we were to focus on the issues of trans women, we would understand at the very foundation the problems and the problematic structure that pervades not only in prisons but our whole society. And feminist, ab abolish, feminist abolitionist practices must be used to help change this system. Ideologically and con constitutionally, our existing system is considered normal. However, it takes a tremendous amount of work to get people to think beyond the bars. And moving towards the intersectionality, we see all of these issues crossing in terms of gender, gender, how we're maybe born, how we identify, sexual identity, our class, our socioeconomic status, our, our education, and our ableism or lack of or lack thereof. Now, Adrian Rich talks about my location determining where I can and cannot go. She states that wherever people are struggling against subjection, the specific subjection of women through our location in a female body from now on has to be addressed, has to be addressed. And this also connects to what I was just saying from 
Angela Davis, in terms of trans women, the, the female body and how it is perceived and how it is oppressed. Adrian Rich writes, to locate myself in my body means more than understanding that it has meant to me to have a vulva, a clitoris and breasts. It means recognizing the white skin, the places it has taken me and the places it has not let me go. And again, this, this is also reflective in what Angela Davis is saying about trans women in the prison system. Moving on. This quilt is about activist scholarship and intersectionality. This image reflects um, mostly the female gender at a protest. And it is through the work of feminists protesting and raising awareness and through their, scholarship, their activist scholarship that shifts have been taking place in our society. When we, when we look at the issues that Linda Smith brings forward regarding decolonizing methodologies, research in Indigenous peoples, we note from her research, and she states, that research done through a colonial lens has done much harm to Indigenous people in New Zealand and must be retold from an Indigenous view. According to Smith, decolonization is concerned with having a more critical understanding of the underlying assumptions, motivations, and values that inform research practices. And in the experience of the Indigenous people of New Zealand, research is a dirty word. And she argues for setting a new agenda for Indigenous re research. Colonizers, adventurers, and travelers research the Indigenous other through their objective and neutral gaze. Decolonization with feminist and critical critiques of positivism. Just to expand on it, decolonization is about cultural, psychological, and economic freedom for Indigenous people with the goal of achieving Indigenous sovereignty. And moving over to Adrian Rich. Notes towards a politics of location. These little uh, stickers here reflect the politics of rape and incest, insect, incest, the politics of orgasm, the politics of abortion, the politics of the body, the politics of of control, the politics of incest, and the and my location, my geography closest to my body and the politics of sterilization. And these three activist scholars all discuss, to some point within the readings, levels about um, intersectionality and the importance of feminism and the importance of doing scholarship to raise awareness. Their, their arguments their arguments aren't necessarily similar but they're all there is an underlying connection between them all in fact that use that using the theory of feminism and the methodology methodologies of feminism can help to uh, raise awareness and shift change and and also to help people that are going to university understand how the underlying structures that exist today are actually very oppressive and to challenge them and to and to protest and to fight to towards in having more inclusion and uh more respect for all peoples whether they be uh indigenous whether they be uh black women uh people women of color or queer and also to recognize that your body, one's body, um, wherever people are struggling against subjection, the specific subjection of women through our location in a female body must be addressed. And this is, again, something very um, interesting with the uh, image of the woman in prison, and then particularly how Angela Davis talks about transgender women in prison being persecuted because that is very systematic within the prison system and also infiltrates into society. So if that, if, if the, the issues of the transgender women 
and transgender men can be dressed with dignity and respect and, and can be acknowledged and understood, then that can translate into the rest of society to have a more inclusive, respectful, and more understanding society. Thank you for listening.